Good afternoon, everybody, Masters of Ceremony, and uh, the audience at large. My name is Dr. Mjaraz Dobi. I'm the Chief Director of Public Health, and I'm a public health physician. I'm going to give you uh, the cholera status of Zimbabwe. So this is our cholera hotspots, but you can say that we've got seven provinces which are cholera hotspots. Uh, fortunately, my is being swallowed by the... So we've got seven provinces which are hotspots out of the 10 provinces in the country. We've got 18 districts and 96 wards. And this includes a total population of about 1.7 million and 73 healthcare facilities, which are manned by 1,200 village health workers. Cholera was first reported in 1972 along Nyamapanda border, which is our border with uh, Mozambique in the Mudzi district. And it has been reported almost every year since 1998. But our largest outbreak was in 2008 and 9 with 98,000 cases and 4,288 deaths, which was a case fatality rate of 4%. In September 2018 to March 2019, we had 10,671 cases and 68 deaths with a case fatality rate of 0.63%, which is an indication that we are moving in the right direction. And in January 2022, we had one case and with a case fatality rate of zero, that is the person didn't die. But it was very disappointed because we had just launched our 10-year uh, elimination plan and this case happened three years down the line. So we are back to square one. So in July 2019, the National Task Force on Cholera Elimination endorsed a high-level framework for cholera elimination for Zimbabwe. Under the leadership of His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe, the 10-year National Cholera Elimination Plan for 2028 was developed and validated. On 18 February 2020, the National Cholera Elimination Plan was shared with IRP, GTFSS for review and comments. And on 7 May 2020, we received an independent review panel, GTFCC recommendations, and comments on the NCEP, and we are awaiting endorsement. Our roadmap implementation costing is to the tune of USD 123 million for the elimination of cholera by 2030. So our institutional framework is the governing framework it's got Vision 2030, which goes well with our national development strategy. And then 2030 Sust Sustainable Development Goals, that is the SDG 6, Global Task Force for Cholera Control, African Health Minister's uh, Declaration, Presidential Cleanup uh, Declaration, and National Development Strategy 1. So the president of Zimbabwe is the head of this task force. We've got the ad hoc committee, working party of uh, senior officials, and the National Emergency Preparedness Response Task Force. There is also the governance body and the secretariat, technical uh, experts group, national task force, and epidemic force for diseases. On the uh, part which is below, we have got our public health technical working group, which is headed by the Minister of Health and also the Minister of Local Government, which is mainly responsible for WASH. We've got the WASH cluster. We've got technical committee on urban infrastructure, that is WASH basically, resource mobilization and innovative financing, advocates and community engagement and cross-cutting. Sorry for that. On my laptop, it was, on my computer, it was showing. So 
the governing framework is for Vision 2030, which we are basically gathered for. So the Sustainable Development Goal 6, Global Task Force for, Col for Cholera Control, African Health Minister's Declaration, uh, Presidential Cleanup Declaration, which is happening on the first of every month, uh, National Development Strategy 1, and then we have the President of Zimbabwe there, that is our structure, the National Emergency uh, Prepared Response Task Force. But below, from number one up to number three, this is a group which represents the Colela Partnership, uh, made up of 40 to 50 organizations working in different thematic subcommittees. So basically, this one is a homegrown solution whereby we are saying we have to deal with the challenge of financing on our own as a country. So this is a homegrown solution and we are doing well in that area. So this is our roadmap uh, outcome indicators. We have got uh, access one, early detection and response to contain outbreaks, indicators of rate of outbreaks as measured by case fatality rate, total of 68 deaths between 2018 and 2019 outbreaks, case fatality rate of 0.63, reduce. So on phase one, 2019 to 21, we want to reduce outbreak case fatality rate by 50%. And I think we have done it because our recent outbreak, we had zero cases, so we are on course. Reduce outbreaks uh, case fatality by 100% by 2024, which we are currently saying we have uh, achieved. And then on access to prevention of disease occurrence by targeting multi-sectoral interventions in cholera hotspots. So the indicator is there, number of currently endemic wards that eliminate cholera as threat to public health. We had 80, 81 wards hotspots, 40 wards eliminate cholera, 81 wards eliminate cholera, and cholera eliminated nationwide. So on impact, a Zimbabwean Population free from cholera, reduction in number of cholera cases, total 295 confirmed cases in 2018 outbreaks, and then we have to reduce that by 50%, uh, 2019 to 2021, and 2022 to 2024 by 100%. So we are going to eliminate. <laughs> and then the objective for our activities, that is our NCEP, we have got the pillar on coordination legislation, three objectives and the number of activities 20, indicators 20, public health images preparedness and response, three objectives, 11 activities, 14 indicators, case management, 3, 15, 17, oral, uh, oral cholera vaccine, 3, 29, 20. So in total, we have got 24 objectives and 187 um, activities and 207 indicators to track. That is our monitoring and valuation so that we won't be shooting in the dark. We know where we are coming from and where we are going. So our pillars for cholera elimination, uh, for a cholera elimination budget for 2022 to 24. We have coordination and legislation. We need about 3.7 million. Emergency preparedness, 1.1 million. Case management, 1.3 million. Oral cholera vaccination, 8.2 million. Risk communication, 2 million. A total of uh, about 30.6 million for the program. So our challenges is mainly inadequate investment in safe water systems in urban areas. Huge population on already burdened infrastructure in old suburbs. For example, our capital city has water infrastructure for 1.5 million people, but now we are currently sitting around 4 million people using the same infrastructure. So we have to step up with the current situation. Huge unplanned peri urban informal settlements without basic sanitation facilities. Huge internal population displacements for purposes of illegal gold mining or panning contributing to the spread of cholera. Basically, we are going back to the issue of wash. Infrastructure, I think you can see that we had an outbreak of cholera. Our health facilities are used to the normal number of people who are coming. But when cholera outbreak comes, 
you have to improvise because all you need is to hydrate the patient. So you end up doing it under the tree. But you save the life. But is this the way we want to go? If we look the way the military guys do, they have their tents. So why can't we do the same and have tents for mitigation for cholera? Ladies and gentlemen, this is how Zimbabwe will contribute to eliminate cholera in the next three years. We are basically riding on those pillars, water, sanitation, and hygiene. We know what it all is about. Leadership and coordination. Healthcare system strengthening. Surveillance and reporting. Use of oral, of oral cholera vaccine. And then community engagement. Last but not least, and the most important, if we have buy-in from our communities, they know what we are doing, they know what we are intending to do, then we will win. If we leave them out, it is our plans, and they will look us, they will look at us and say, what are these people trying to do? So let's involve the community. That is where the problem is, and we can eliminate all stakeholder involvement. We as Zimbabwe, we have advocated now for all of government of approach, all of society approach, and all stakeholder involvement. And I'm sure we'll eliminate cholera. I thank you. <laughs>